In this problem, we have a vector A already sitting in the XYZ rectangular coordinate system. It has three coordinate direction angles, alpha, beta, and gamma. These are the angles made by this vector A and the positive x, positive y, and positive z axes, respectively. Out of the three angles, we know two of them. We know alpha is 112 degree, beta is 75. We do not know what gamma is, but we do know the z component of this vector is 5.0 centimeter. And we need to determine the magnitude of vector A as well as its unit vector UA. So because we know there exists this relation between the three angles alpha, beta, gamma, that cosine alpha squared plus cosine beta squared plus cosine gamma squared equals to 1. Therefore, we can solve for cosine gamma, which equals to square root of 1 minus cosine alpha squared minus cosine beta squared. So in this case, because this is cosine gamma squared, therefore there are two possibilities. It could be positive value or a negative value, and you cannot determine what it is without re referencing back to the graph. So from the graph, we can tell that gamma is an acute angle. So if gamma is an acute angle, cosine gamma equals to uh, a positive value. So on the other hand, if gamma is an um, obtuse angle, then cosine gamma is a negative value. Because of that, we can eliminate the negative value, so this is going to be positive. So we substitute in the value, so that's 112 squared minus cosine 75 degree squared, and that equals to 0 0.8903. So from there, we can determine gamma, which equals to the inverse of cosine, um, 0 0.903, and that equals to 27.09 degree. And because we know that cosine alpha equals to a x over a, the x component of the vector over the magnitude of the vector, similarly cosine beta equals to a y over a, and cosine gamma equals to a z over a. So this last one is what it's useful for us because now we know cosine gamma equals to 0 0.8903. Therefore, a z over a equals to cosine gamma, which is 0 0.8903. From here, because we know a z equals to 5 centimeter, so a equals to 5 centimeter over 0 0.8903, therefore it is 5.62 centimeter. So that answers the first question, what is the magnitude of that vector A? So for the unit vector UA, there are different ways to do this. Uh, the easiest way is to recognize that ua vector simply equals to cosine alpha i plus cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. So since we already know what alpha, beta, and gamma are respectively, we can simply substitute them into this equation and get the result. that is cosine 112 degree plus cosine 75 degree is this plus 0 0.890 K. That's cosine gamma. So that's the answer. It's important to know that the unit vector is dimensionless. because unit vector equals to the vector A divided by its magnitude. 
and in this case both the vector a and its magnitude have the unit of centimeter therefore the centimeter always cancel out therefore unit vector itself is dimensionless